trust me enough to want to spend money on you. What's up, creepers? Um, welcome back to the Creepy Crawl. If you haven't subscribed, do all that crap. We're going to be talking about this Glary for a little while. we got two other guitars in this series that we need to talk about. The uh, Captain Obvious Trilogy, so to speak. Before we do that, uh, an item came up on, on, e uh, not eBay, on, um, what is that website called? Amazon. An Amazon.com kind of situation. And I thought it would fit perfectly with this guitar. Now, before we look at that, what have we done with the Glary so far? Nothing. Zero zip zilch. I have plugged it in and I have played it as it came out of the box. Now that everything's acclimated to everything and the neck is done doing whatever it wants to do. I've tuned it up a handful of times and of course it does need an intonation and it, the, the action needs a little bit of adjustment. Um, but either way, we still have to give it a setup. But in the meantime, I saw this. And I was like, that would be perfect for the guitar, because it just completely blocks it out. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this guitar is, keeps impressing me, even though I haven't done anything to it. So I saw this, and I was like, you know what? That, that would go perfectly with the guitar. Now, I do have kind of a, a conundrum. The only reason I'm making this video before showing the other ones is I want your opinion. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You'll have to excuse me. I've had E. coli for the past couple of days. And I'm not the most awake person on the planet. So, this here was under $50. I don't remember exactly how much I spent for it. Um, but it's a complete pick guard set. I thought, I don't know, I just saw it and it screamed out to me. Now, these are El Nico 5 pickups. They're, you know, obviously imports. They're made in China. But it was this brass bronze kind of vibe that really caught my eye. And I said, damn, those are going to be great. From what I can tell, I think this is, well, maybe it's not metal. No, it is metal. Uh, the pickup covers are metal. They're like a, a bronzy, brushed off, old looking son of a gun. You got yourself uh, matching knobs here. Five way switch. But coming over, you're going to see something you don't normally see in an import under $50 pickguard setup. I'm a sham, a loser. A liar and a big poo-poo head. All right, so it was eBay. It was eBay, and it was about that much. I'll put this link down below if you really want one of these. Pretty cool. Oh, also, it wasn't E. coli. I have salmonella. I have salmonella, and my butt hurts. My butt hurts, guys. Please help. Uh, decent cloth wiring. A nice orange drop cap. I don't know what this does. I saw that, and I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's a seven-way switch pull pot meaning that in any position if I pull this up the neck position will turn on so you can have these two which you normally don't get on a strat or maybe it's for the bridge for the same thing and if I'm all the way up here then it'll be for these two I'm hoping it's not a reverse polarity thing because if it is I'm going to find a way to wire this push pull into what they call the Gilmore switch it's normally like a little mini switch right here. And this is kind of a pain in the butt to get my fingers underneath it. But a little trick, get a guitar pick, pop it up while you're live. There we go. We got it up. Yay, we finally got it up. Maybe I ordered hymns. Hymns at Generic Viagra. But, and it got here pretty quick. Um, really nice traditional bobbins. Um, again, metal. Uh, staggered pole pieces like it should be in certain cases. I don't know what it was supposed to be uh, uh, voiced after, whether 50s or 60s or whatever the heck. Could not refuse it. I thought it would look fantastic on this guitar. Let me know if you think that I'm not crazy. Um, but I am having one bit of a dilemma. I don't know if I want to use the pickguard that it came with. The pickguard's like this weird brush wood looking thing. It's, it's a plastic pickguard that they painted over. Um, but I scratched at it a few times, and this paint ain't coming off anytime soon. It probably will over time with playing. But should I just put all the components in this pickguard? You think that would look better? Or do you think the whole pickguard should go on there? But either way, this thing, uh, for the cost, I'll put a link to it down below. Uh, you can't go wrong. It's a, it's a fantastic deal. It even came with a matching backplate. And, of course, all the little pokey things to screw it down to the body. 
And of course, they're probably not going to line up the screw holes, but that's okay. We can redrill. It's a glary. We don't have to worry about that. Um, but I am curious what you think. Do you think it would look best just dropping this whole thing in? Or do you think I should just take the components out and put it in the black picker? Now, mind you, the picker still has the plastic on it, so that's where the scratches and these little bubble-looking things are coming from. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Whole assembly or just swap the components and move on? Because I do plan on upgrading the bridge a little bit, getting better saddles, and putting a heavier block on the bottom. Maybe upgrading the tuners and tinting the neck. And that's as far as I think I'm going to go with this thing. But it's going to be a great player. It already is. And hopefully it'll sound even better. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think. Leave feedback, thumbs up, thumbs down, all feedback. Cue the creep, it's positive. Guys, thank you always so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We got a ton of content coming on the way. I say we like it's more than one person. It's me. It's me, a cell phone, and a bunch of crap. <laughs> a bunch of crap to talk to you about. But I get a whole bunch of really rad guitar stuff coming up. And, of course, you know, just regular vlogging and all that stuff. So, I'm going to get back to that. And maybe stray away from the guitar stuff a little bit. Like, you know, maybe like, if I'm going to do three, maybe I'll just do two. And if you can hear that buzzing over there, I'm sorry. It's hot as hell. I got the air conditioner on. So, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And hit that notification bell. Leave a thumbs up and thumbs down. I already told you all that, guys. Thank you for watching. I can't say that enough. And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Creep it real. And bye-bye.